Come in. Hi. Hi. I'm here to do your 50 question interview. Uh, the door did say do not disturb. But I'm let's... sorry about that. Are you okay to start? Yeah, just close the door. Okay, so first question. What are you currently doing? I'm currently working. I'm basically making my website, but it's taking quite a while. Um, so could you tell us about your website? What is there to expect from this website? So it's a new website um, about my media company, my marketing agency, and it's basically about helping brands raise their online presence. So if any brands do want to sort of reach out to me, then feel free to. Um, yeah. Okay, and so you're currently studying A-levels, is that right? Yes, I'm doing Latin, French and English. Out of the three, which ones would you say are your like most favorite? Ooh, most so like I'd say Latin. Okay, why would you say Latin? Uh, I think I just love it. It's it's so hard, but it's just fun, and my teachers are amazing. Um, so what would you say to young students that are like hoping to study a language and don't know if they should? Um, do it. It is so rewarding. Like if you learn Latin, you can literally pick up any other language. Like, it shows that. Um, so university is coming up pretty soon. Of where you want to go and why? Bursity, did you say? <laughs> university. University. Oh, uh, university. I want to apply to the US. Wow. But I also want to apply to the UK. But if I get into the US, I might as well go there because, you know, who wants to, just, who wants to reject Harvard? Right. And so you're <coughs> only into Ivy Leagues or uh, your I, dream university? Obviously Harvard, but, you know, I really like Brown, Columbia. I also like NYU. I really like Cornell. Yeah. I don't think I'm applying to Cornell anymore. Um, I also like Minerva, a new university, but yeah. And so when you're not in the classroom, when you're not studying on your desk, what could you find you doing behind the scenes? Ooh, working on my company is the first one. Travelling. I'm literally in a new destination every two weeks. And also uh, playing badminton. I love badminton. Yeah, that's it. And so you've travelled a lot, as I've heard. What's your favourite country you've been to? Gosh, uh, favourite country that I've been to myself or with family? Solo travelling. Solo travelling. So these, that would probably be, ooh, Slovakia. It's like a really low-key place, but honestly, it's amazing. Okay, and you've mentioned you've been away with your family. Is that also still Slovakia or would you have a different place? I'd say Hawaii uh, and also Mauritius, yeah. So I started traveling at 16, solo traveling. I went to the first country I went to was Portugal with my friends. And yeah, it's completely fine. Uh, as long as you maybe like, if you book a hotel, you might need like parental signatures and stuff. But traveling is completely fine. You don't need your parents with you. Talking about success, would you say you're very money minded or? Gosh, uh, yeah, I'm very money minded. I do like to make money. I like the art of making money. That really does like trigger my like brain flag 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 as in like if i sense an opportunity i'm gonna take it right. and so would you say you spend a lot of money and if you are spending money what is it up i don't spend money on like things that i don't like i hate clothes like this is literally from primark uh this is probably a fake t-shirt and these are probably from primark as well uh, I'd never ever go out of my way to buy clothes um, and I'd probably say I spend most of my money on food or technology. I literally just bought the new iPhone 14 Pro Max um, and I'm, I can't wait till that comes. Wow, and so talking about food, what could we expect for a Bishan to be eating on a Friday night? I'd say Wagamama's, uh, vegan chili suet, karaburo so ramen and gyozas all day every day, um, miso soup and kimchi. Okay, okay those are good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm Indian, Indian. of course. Okay, so I'm literally Indian, brown. I'm... I'm Hindi. Okay, and talking about university, what is your dream university? I'd say my dream uni in the UK. I, the thing is, I don't know about the UK just because, um, yeah, I just don't know about the UK. Maybe Kings, UCL, John, Warwick, don't know about my fifth, but yeah. And talking about lockdown, okay. so I remember it being 2020, what was your favourite memory or like what did you like most about lockdown? Oh, I like bike rides, I like drinking iced coffee, the Dalgona coffee trend. Uh, I also really like house party, the app, Netflix parties, um, like as a Netflix party thing online. And I'd probably say 
just like not going to school, that was a big highlight of my life. Um, did you struggle with anything positively, negatively? Did I struggle with anything positively? Does that make sense? I mean, like, you struggled in a way to have gotten yourself somewhere. So. Uh, yeah, academically, I was unmotivated. I did not want to revise, I didn't want to do anything, and I basically was in the slump. So I started my TikTok and look where I've ended up, basically, yeah, motivated. And so for younger fans that are in the same position as you, like demotivated, currently at very low grade, what would you say like is the biggest tip you could give them for success? Write a diary or document your life on camera, your few Snapchat memories, document yourself and think about where you want to be in the future. In one year's time, set yourself a goal in Snapchat memories. I want to be in Harvard. I want to be studying X at university and keep thinking about it and make it happen. That's very motivating. And talking about social platforms, do you think TikTok is your most favourite one or anything else? Yeah, TikTok is probably my most favourite just because I like blew up on there, I guess. But I also love YouTube and after my university stuff, this might go on YouTube. And so I've heard you've been working with um, artists. Is that I true? have, yes, What's it's crazy. About? Basically, I work with quite a few famous people. Uh, no, uh, I work with artists um, for like their TikTok accounts. So I basically film their TikToks for them. Um, yeah. So would you say you find yourself at most uh, festivals and gigs? And yes. Events? So I was actually at Glastonbury. I was meant to go to Nottingham, Notting Hill Carnival a couple of weeks ago, but uh, I where did I go? I was in Norway. Uh, I went to Barn on the Farm, We Are Festival. I went to uh the great escape and yeah and i also do like artist shoots on their sets and now talking about brands you've worked with would you like to mention a couple you've worked with yes i've worked with ucas financial times gates notes paris pc world matt west rmp uh jbl uh uni student beans uni days uh there's so many brands lenovo uh there's literally and like so many i can't very yeah. impressive considering you're 17 years of age. I know. And so, what is your favorite brand you worked with and like why? Definitely the Financial Times because they invited me to their studio to do like two videos about their cryptocurrency campaign uh, and their financial literacy campaign. So, that was definitely my favorite. And so, from a young age, what have you always wanted to be and like has that changed? I've always wanted to be, actually, no, it has changed. Um, growing up, I'd say I wanted to be a shop at the till. I don't know why, but I really, really liked the job and I could see myself doing that. I wanted to also run a shop. Then it switched um, to maybe being like a lawyer. Um, but then I sort of gave up on that because I thought, eh, do I want to be a lawyer? No, I don't. So now it's a business owner because I think I want to do what I love and I want to sort of be my own boss, not a boss of anyone else. I think you're a very positive um like to younger, younger ages and so have you been noticed much in public like what's your life like outside of filming have you been like noticed um... yeah it is it's quite cool i have been noticed uh i get noticed quite a lot which is weird to say but it's it's fun i've got like a demographic which is literally students so uh hopefully i can inspire more, more of you um and do we have more to be expected in the future what are you currently working on university applications and content about university applications hopefully if i do get into a good uni i can make videos about that if i don't then i'll talk about my failure and a question we've also had is do you private tutor i do private tutor uh, i tutor quite a lot of subjects uh, i also run a tutoring company as well uh, which is part of river show unlimited so if you do want tutoring then let me know just for parents that are like watching what subjects do you teach what do you offer what years do you teach so anywhere from key stage three to a level so um, maths english literature english language biology physics chemistry latin french rs spanish geography food tech um, politics economics business dt have i missed anything i probably so every, so every subject yeah basically every subject and guaranteed a star so hopefully yes but you have to work for it. We can't. We can spoon. We can spoon feed you everything, but you do have to work for it. Hard work comes to at least two sit with us. Anyways, that was great. Thank you so much for this time. Thanks. I hope to talk to you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.